Oh, hey, how's it going? Nice to see you again. My name's Curly. I'm a honeybee, drone division. And today we're on episode two of Curly's Bee Vlog. Pretty cool. Today we're chilling out in beautiful Brantford, Ontario at the Devil's Bench, located at 436 Colburn Street East. It's a cool little store packed with all sorts of crazy stuff to uh, drain your wallet. What's this crazy thing? Oh, nuts. Anyways, today we got a very special video for you. We're going to start with a bit of a uh, unboxing video, as they call it in YouTube land. And uh, then we're going to go on to uh, meet a whole bunch of my brothers and sisters, mostly sisters. So let's, uh, let's get at her. So as my helper here starts, uh, starts getting ready, uh, we got all this stuff from the Humble Bee, located on Burlington Street in, uh, in Hamilton, Ontario. And they couldn't be cooler, cooler set of folks. They helped us out big time. First thing here is a smoker. I don't like smokers too much, but uh, if you're gonna be a beekeeper, you need a smoker. You fill it full of smoldering cardboard or paper or anything that'll produce a nice cool smoke. And it, uh, it helps, you know, settle us down if we get a little rambunctious. Us honeybees talk through pheromones. So when we get smoke blown on us, we can't really hear what the other guy is saying. And, uh, you know, if uh, you can't hear the, the order to attack, well, you can't really attack, can you? So a smoker is paramount to the arsenal of a beekeeper. These are patches for Varroa mites. Varroa mites are little, little blood-sucking ticks. They're kind of like ticks that latch onto us honeybees and cause us all sorts of grief. We'll talk about Varroa mites another time. Next up is the bee suit. Every beekeeper needs a bee suit. This makes it so that, you know, if, if we are having a bit of a grumpy day and decide to sting you, you won't feel the sting and you can keep working. This here is called a frame spacer. It's for a nine frame Langstroth box. It makes sure that all the frames inside are uh, equally apart from each other so we're not all crushed in with our brothers and sisters. And a handy pair of bee gloves to go with your fancy bee suit. This here is a bee brush. It's, a, it's very gentle on us bees, and it helps us get out of the way when you're trying to work. Next up is something called a hive tool, or a J-tool. It helps pry apart the different frames in the hive so that you can, uh, you know, inspect the hive or go about your work. Very, very handy tool. Oh, they even included some seeds. Yum, yum. This little handy doodad is called a entrance reducer. So when a colony gets introduced to a new hive, you put this at the entrance so there's less of a space for us to guard against predators. So this is one part of a Langstroth box. This is a honey super, where we store all our delicious honey. And this is what a frame looks like. It's already drawn out with the wax, so that all we have to do is continue building on top of it. it. Takes a lot of the heavy lifting off our hands. I love these things. You can see there's 10 in here by default. You can use that handy spacer to space them all out. Now there's plenty of room for us to squeeze in between the frames and get to work. And there's a lot of work to do. See that handy hive tool? It's making quick work of trying to pry apart these, uh, these frames. And sometimes they get really sticky, as you can imagine working with honey. So a nice sturdy hive tool is paramount to the success of the modern day beekeeper. This floppy boy is called a queen excluder. So, beekeepers love to keep their queen in the brood boxes laying eggs. So they'll put this little screen between the brood boxes and the honey supers so that the queen can't make her way through. She's a little too big. But us little honeybees can get through no problem, so we can continue the work. 
Something you'll also want to do with the uh, exterior of your hive is to paint it. That'll help it uh, battle the elements because it's going to be outside 24 7. Needs to put up with the wind and the rain and the sleet and the snow in those harsh Canadian climates. So now we got something special to show you, and I'm going to uh, hand it over to this fine gentleman to uh, do the rest of the video. I gotta get back to work. Cheers, folks. Well, this is either gonna be the start to a new fun chapter in my life, new journey, new hobby, a pastime, or a very expensive and painful mistake. What we're doing today is introducing what is known as a nucleus colony to my very first beehive. A nucleus colony, commonly referred to as a nuke, is kind of a little mini ready-to-go hive. It comes in a cardboard box, I'll show you in a second. And uh, the frames are already good to go on it. I'm gonna take those frames out, put it in the box here, and uh, apparently she's good to go. Hopefully not get stung to death. Things I've learned so far, bee water, which is like one parts water, one parts sugar, is very sticky. My hands are very sticky, so I'll remember to bring out a uh, bottle of water next time. I've also learned that I'm an idiot, and I uh, wore jeans today with a big rip in them, so I had to uh, tape that down. We're learning though. Hopefully not painful lessons. Okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is there's already a couple high or uh, frames in my brood chamber and I'm going to spritz these down with a little bit of sugar water so that the bees are kind of enticed to explore their new home. Not too much, just a little. Again, this was a one-to-one -one mixture of water and sugar. So there's like four pounds of sugar for two liters of water or something like that. nice sugary water they can get their first snack while they're exploring their new habitat in beautiful picturesque Canesville which is right side uh, outside of Brantford in Ontario if the resolution is good enough on this camera you'll notice I'm sweating like a pig because it's very hot out here I'm very Canadian and I hate the heat. And it's not because I'm scared shitless. I promise. Let's take a look at this nuke. So this is a nuke. Ah, there's already a spider. Get out of there. You can see. Make sure that I can actually see it. Yeah, there's little bumblebee legs sticking out of it already trying to get out so they want to get out they're rearing to get out and uh we're gonna let them out looks like just one holding it down And there is a whole whack of bumblebee bees. Not bumblebees, honeybees. And they're chilling out and they're happy as can be. Very cool, very cool. I'm gonna let these guys chill for a bit and we're gonna come back and put them in the box. Not gonna lie at all, had like three little mini panic attacks while I was doing that, but I got them all in. Let's go take a look.
had to use the smoker just to chill them out because they started getting all rambunctious, which, you know, they're getting put into a new home. So they came from here, and now they're in here. Welcome home, ladies. Look how beautiful you are. And they're all chilling out at the queen. She has been uncapped and is ready to, uh, to be introduced to the hive. All that's left to do is uh, shake the rest of the bees in, close this up, and we're done. Thanks for coming along.